The LG V30 is an incredible camera phone according to LG and of course they're gonna say that. They just announced it here at IFA. That said, on paper, it's doing some really unique things and that's what this video is all about. We'll dive into the camera UI and explain a little bit about how the optics work. Before I jump into that, if you're not already subscribed to TechRadar, subscribe. It's how you'll stay on top of everything that we do. All right, let's first get you sorted with the setup of the cameras around the back. You've got two sensors, 113 megapixel, 116 megapixel, one of them is a wide angle, so you're going to get a 120 degree field of view, while the other is a 70 degree regular angle lens. The regular angle lens has optical image stabilization, the other one has electrical image stabilization. Handshake doesn't come through as much when you have a very wide field of view. In terms of aperture, f1.6 is the lowest we've seen on a smartphone, and that's what you get on the regular field of view lens, which is going to really help in low light situations. As for the other lens, f1.9, which is still incredibly respectable. So now that we know what's on the back, let's get inside this phone. Fire up the camera for the first time and you really wouldn't be able to tell there was too much different about this phone. But it does have one key element around the shutter release, which suggests you can drag it up and down. And this is the telltale as to one of the coolest features within this phone. Now, this is a very measured zoom, as you can see. It takes full advantage of the wide angle and narrow angle camera. Zooming out, you can see there is a slight jump when you swap lenses and cameras, but it isn't a really, really overbearing transition. Where the real fun comes in, though, is when you take a look at some of the shooting modes. Tap through on mode and you've got auto, cine video, food snap movie, pop out, manual, matte shot, guided shot, time lapse, 360 panorama, manual, snapshot, grid shot, slow mo, and panorama. That's all of the shooting modes. There are quite a few, but the ones that we're going to be taking a look at specifically are cine video and manual video. This one is what it's all about when it comes to that zoom I was talking about. There's something called point zoom. So you can point zoom at an area rather than zoom directly in the middle of your picture. Select an area, drag the slider up and down and that very measured zoom rather than just defaulting to the center of your image can focus on a specific focal point. Now what's really sweet about this is that you can actually grade your video using presets. These video grades, for anyone who doesn't know what a grade is, it's effectively a colorization that just adds a new look and feel to the video. It's, I guess you can think of it as an Instagram filter for videos, but on a much, much more advanced level because these are then exportable and you can put them in your video editing software. Tap on mode again and you can also see there's manual video on here. Here you can control things like shutter speed, ISO, and white balance. This is gonna be perfect for anybody who wants to take full control over things, and you can even improve the audio through high quality hi-fi audio. When you jump into the settings, you can really see how powerful this thing is. Video resolution goes from 720p right through to 18 by nine, so it's the aspect ratio of the phone, full HD, so it's the aspect ratio of most phones, and full HD 21 by nine cinema. That's 2560 by 1800. And it will give you an even wider picture for the true director in you. You can also see you can control frame rate and right through from one frame per second to 60 frames per second. Bitrate controls on here as well. Hi-Fi recording allows you to get really high quality audio. When you turn it on, you're given a warning that Hi-Fi audio will only play on devices and apps that support it. You've also got options to turn on and off steady recording, tracking focus, which will focus something as it moves through your frame. And you've also got the option to save as LG Synalog. Now this is perhaps the newest and coolest feature for anyone who does video editing. Those filters I was talking about earlier will export to your video editing suite. If you do turn it on though, bear in mind the wide angle camera is made unavailable. So it only supports the F1.6 70 degree field of view camera. It isn't all about video though. Jumping into mode, you can see there's an option called guide shop. Fire that up and you can actually overlay an element on top of your picture. Now this won't actually come through in the final picture. What it allows you to do is position something in the center of your frame, for example, I have this couch and I've got the food, which is like basically giving me a guide. I can control the transparency of it. After which I can snap my picture, positioning the couch in the same position that I had the food so that I know it's pretty center. And so when I come to 
fire up the picture in the gallery, I know when I'm Instagramming that snap, it is gonna be slap bang in the middle. Super handy for anyone who just wants a little bit of help with their photos. So whatever happens with the photo and video quality on the LG V30, out of the box interface is super extensive. In fact, I go as so far as to say specifically pertaining to video, it is class leading. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, click that thumbs up button and subscribe to TechRadar to stay on top of everything that we do. Also head over to techradar.com. That's where you can read a lot more about this phone and check out our full review as soon as it goes live.